We are the National Center on Birth Defects and Developmental Disabilities, and every day we save babies through birth defects prevention and research, help children live to the fullest by understanding developmental disabilities like autism, protect people by preventing complications of blood disorders, and improve the health of people living with disabilities. We gather data and conduct research in order to educate healthcare professionals and the public so that our science can improve the health and quality of life of the people our center serves. Birth defects are common, costly, and critical. Our research estimates that one in 33 babies is born with a birth defect in the U.S., and one in five infant deaths is due to birth defects. Our center's work helps to prevent birth defects, resulting in thousands more healthy babies each year. As an example, smoking causes some orofacial clefts, and we could prevent more than 400 each year in the U.S. by helping women stop smoking before or in early pregnancy. We can't stop here. Our research has found that an estimated 1 in 68 children has been identified as having autism in communities across the U.S. Because of the work of our center over the past decade, we know more about these children and how to best support individuals, families, and communities. And through our Learn the Signs Act Early program, we are partnering with healthcare professionals, educators, and parents to promote early identification of developmental delays in children using this powerful tool to help families now. But despite our center's work, there remains an urgent need to continue the search for answers and provide help for children living with autism. We can't stop here. Blood disorders affect millions of Americans, regardless of age, race, gender, or income. For example, the center's data show that there are about 20,000 people with hemophilia, mostly males, in the U.S. Treatment is expensive, but our research shows that early treatment can make a difference. Venous thromboembolism, or VTE, is a blood clot found mostly in the leg and lungs and is the number three cardiovascular killer globally. Over half of VTE events are directly related to a recent hospitalization or surgery, and most of these do not occur until after discharge. But there is good news. About 70% of these are preventable, and our center is working to make this happen. But we can't stop here. One in five Americans lives with a disability, and our data show that 44% of people with disabilities report fair or poor health status. In stark contrast, only 10% of people without disabilities report fair or poor health status. Our data and expertise drive action that closes the gap in health disparities, leading to people with disabilities who live full lives and work and play in their communities. We can't stop here. At the National Center on Birth Defects and Developmental Disabilities, we protect those who are most vulnerable, like babies, children, and people with blood disorders and disabilities. We improve the health of millions of people every day. By using our data to drive education and change, we can and will do more. But we can't do it without you.